Hi everyone, I'm Christoph Chu with Coldwell Banker Global Luxury Real Estate in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. And today I want to take you on a driving tour through Truesdale Estates, which is part of the city of Beverly Hills. And I've done tours of this area before, but I thought I'd do a little new updated current tour as of, uh, uh, what is it, we're April 2018. So let me show you around this beautiful part of the city. So I'm entering here into Truesdale Estates in the eastern street. There's basically two entrances, Hillcrest Road and Loma Vista. And I'm entering through kind of what I would call semi faux gates of the area. So Truesdale Estates was originally owned by the famous Doheny family. And it was called the Doheny Ranch. And the Doheny family owned it from the late 1800s uh, until 1954, I believe, when Paul and Jean Truesdale purchased the entire property. Uh, other than Greystone Manor, which was purchased and donated to the city of Beverly Hills. It's now a, a city park. And uh, there originally were 584 lots here in the Truesdale area. Originally also, it was part of the city of Los Angeles. And I forget the exact history at the moment, but it was then annexed as part of Beverly Hills, I believe in the 1960s or 1970s. This is the first street as you enter into Truesdale. It's called Robert Lane. This is the block where pretty much all of these lots are one acre lots. And they're the first street as you get here where you do have views. Uh, luckily I've sold a few on this particular block and one I sold one, two, uh, two, twice. Or was it three times? I forget now, I think, no, twice. It's actually the house right over here. Uh, originally sold it for, gosh, this dates me now, maybe 10 years ago for 7.9 and then on 20 million. So um, interesting how values have changed in this area, right? <laughs> so uh, coming up now on uh, Drive, and Loma Vista Drive is the western side of Truesdale Estates. We go up, and uh, unlike many other streets in Beverly Hills, it is lined with pine trees as opposed to palm trees. So what's going on in the Truesdale Estates market? So Truesdale Estates is part of the city of Beverly Hills. Uh, pretty much all of the houses have amazing views or great views and there is a neighborhood association that regulates the views. so basically if you buy a house here most of them are one-story homes you cannot block your neighbor's view so you can buy a house you can tear it down as you can see you'll see a lot of tear downs but most of them are one-story homes and you cannot block your neighbor's view so uh, entry level today in Truesdale starts at about five million uh, that's the lowest price home currently, actually just under $5 million, $4 million And the highest price home is currently listed at $77.5 million. That's a beautiful house called Opus on Hillcrest, at the top of Hillcrest, uh, designed by the famous architect Paul McLean and the amazing in, um, builder Niall Naimi. And it's an incredible house, gold and marble, with incredible city views. And it's right next door to the house uh, that was sold to uh, the guy from Minecraft a few years ago. He paid $64 million for that. And three doors down from there, uh, the former Danny Thomas estate sold last year on, gosh, 1.8 acres. Uh, they're going to tear it down and build a new house, and that sold for $64 million. So again, ranging right now, 17 homes are for sale here in the Truesdale Estates area from 5 million to 77 million. So the average price currently is about 17 million. You're paying about 2,500 a square foot or so roughly, and the average lot size is about 27,000 square feet. Um, there have been five sales in the last six months here in the area. It takes around 200, 230 days to sell. The highest price in the last six months is about 15.5 million. And the median price today currently is just under 10 million. Average asking prices, or actually average sale price per square foot is about 1,633 per square foot. And the average house lot size is about 23,000 square feet. And the average house size is about 5,500. So um, Paul and Jean Truesdale took all these lots back in the 70s, primarily, maybe, maybe early 60s and 70s and started building or started selling off the lots and people bought them and built custom homes. So there's a lot of that kind of 50s, 60s and 70s construction which still exists here in the neighborhood. And um, what's happening is a lot of them are being remodeled because mid-century is very in now, whereas 15 years ago it was very difficult to sell these mid-century homes, but today people love them. 
and uh, in some cases people are tearing down these mid-century homes and building new modern you know 2018 modern homes so I'm uh, just finishing up actually not finishing up I'm in the middle of my caravan tour today I'm about to go look at a house here in the neighborhood and um, so I'm gonna say goodbye and I just thought I'd check in quickly and just show you a little bit of true sale estates here in the beautiful city of Beverly Hills actually I'll wait till I go up to Haynes which is where I'm off to I think I may have missed the turn uh oh I did oh well this will be more of a tour for you so uh, Loma Vista goes all the way to the top of Truesdale and I'm going to turn on a street called Carla Ridge which actually there's three streets going up north and south there's Hillcrest on the east Loma Vista in the center and Carla Ridge on the west so I'm in the center now in Loma Vista oh we drove by a couple houses that I've sold so anyways next time on my next tour we'll talk about that and I'm gonna go back to Carla Ridge because there's a new listing on Haynes that uh, hopefully I haven't seen before but sometimes you know when I'm looking on Tuesday preparing for my tour of homes I look at the magazine or look online at the houses and I think oh I haven't seen that but you know 29 years later when I get here I'm like oh I've seen that house could have been five years ago 10 years ago 15 years ago or 20 years ago who knows uh, you know after doing this for so very long houses can blend in sometimes so anyways that's why your house has to be memorable because as a broker I go look at houses on Tuesdays and if it's a memorable house I'll remember it if it's not then I won't or I shouldn't say I won't but it's not as easy to remember so uh oh better check where I'm going it's I'm going to Haynes okay so that's uh further down so we got a little bit ways down so I was just at the top of Truesdale and I'm heading back down south here on Carla Ridge heading back towards uh, the flats or the flatlands of Beverly Hills and so basically these are the north south streets there's three and off of them are these little offshoot streets that are all little cul-de-sacs and as you can kind of see from the topography each street is like one or two levels above the other so hence if you build a house you're generally not going to block your neighbor's view. That's why there's height restrictions, there's landscaping restrictions, so there's all different restrictions to help preserve and keep the um, architectural purity of the area as well as to preserve your view. Because let's face it, if you're paying, let's say, five to 15 million for a teardown and you want to build a new house, you want to make sure you got a nice view. Because if you have a nice view, the house is worth a lot of money. If you don't have a nice view, then it's not worth as much money. But hey, even you know without a view you're still gonna pay five million for dirt up in this neighborhood that's just the prices in Beverly Hills so again in around 1600 a square foot as the average um, sale price per square foot for a home in this neighborhood and I would say on average the houses are about 5,000 occasion there's a few around the three four thousand foot level and uh, there are some I'm trying to think the largest size houses probably about 10 to 12,000 square feet would be my recollection offhand and unlike the Hollywood Hills, the roads are not as narrow or as windy. Um, and again, it's the city of Beverly Hills. So you get the city of Beverly Hills, fire department, police department, and utility services. And there's a lot of benefit to that. And that's why a lot of people want to own or live in the city. Oh, there's a view in the city of Beverly Hills. So depending on which uh, location you are on the streets or, you know, north, south, east, or west, you can get a full-on... Uh, a southern view you can get an eastern view of downtown or a western view of the ocean so I'm here in Haines and I'm going to go see uh, another listing uh, here we go oh I've seen this house before yep been there done that so anyways um, so I guess we're gonna we'll just drive back to the end let's finish up our tour because I've seen that house before it's a beautiful house but uh, that's what it is and that's part of why I do the caravan I talked about that earlier today in my previous video buyers particularly at a high level of wealth don't have a lot of time they're spending the, their time and day running their businesses making the money to be able to afford to buy a 5 10 20 hundred million dollar home so my job is to be your guide to be your expert and your advisor so that's why look do you think I want to spend three hours every single Tuesday driving around touring homes and walking up and down stairs and through acreage and particularly in the summertime I can tell you when it's summertime and it's 105 degrees it's miserable to spend three hours in the heat driving around walking around it's just exhausting 
but I do that because I'm here to serve my clients and be really a servant for them. Uh, I know it sounds funny, but I am, and I'm a concierge for them, and really helping them understand